Hold on a second. Hold on. Wait, we're, we're, right up, we're up now. But I don't know how that happened. Where are we? Yeah, where we we definitely down? were off because oh. I just got the alert saying that we're on again. So. Oh. Um, Yo, where do we stop at? Mm. Jesus. Uh, that's why I said, that's why when you said Kev killed it. I was like, what are we talking about? But hold on. Let's. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second. Is it back up? Well, I got the alert on my phone saying that we were live. So, so. Yeah, so did I. Right, Chat? Man. Somebody? Wait, I think we're back up. Possibly. Hold on, let me see. Hey, everybody, are we back up? Yeah. Kept playing games. No, I honestly, <laughs> I honestly didn't do that, because that was like... That's Marcus. He hacking in. Yeah, I yeah. think we're good now. Yeah. It, it just, just started for us. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, That's shit. Weird. So the, the whole show didn't even start? It must have just been recorded oh, the whole time. Oh, hell. <laughs> start everything over. Oh, it's only been All 10. right, well. It's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, Kerbo, run it back. <laughs> All right, hold up. Kerbo. <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. Yes, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have been so talking to talk about Travis Scott release. Also, thousands of dollars of counterfeit sneakers fees. All this and more coming up on a Monday Men's so right now. You're now tuned into the Monday Men's so with your co host, Molly Maul. That's not true. Bolo's and Jay. Unbox that. And Buckeye City Soul. Powered by the usual suspects. It's a Monday Mid Soul. Let's go. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, welcome back to uh, the Monday Mid So. Uh, I am your co-host Buckeye City So, aka Kev, and we were talking for the past ten minutes and didn't even realize we wasn't on. And I got the monitor oh, up shit. here. I must not really been paying attention. I'm kind of out of it uh, today. We've got a wonderful show for you. We do not. We are without Marcus, so maybe that's why I didn't know. Maybe you know. Maybe y'all was texting Marcus. Marcus ain't here right now. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully he'll either buzz in or you know maybe be in the chat or something. I don't know, but uh, I'll go ahead and pass it. I had some good stuff that I said too. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, oh. pass it on upstairs to uh, Mr. Mo. Oh, shit. oh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mo. Uh, I ain't got shit else to say because we didn't say everything for ten minutes, so we gonna kick it over to, to Molly. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? It's your boy Molly Maul, aka leader of the Light Skin Legion, aka I done copped another one, unless we're talking about those Travis. You heard? I was just uh, fooling y'all. Great show ahead of you. And uh yeah, listen, we we had a great convo for 10 minutes. Hopefully we can uh you know circle that back. But uh that being said, the show goes on. Let's get it popping yeah, in the box. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into what's in the box. What's in the box sponsored by the container store. This is the part of the show again, take two where we talk about the <laughs> past releases that, uh, that we came up on and, uh, we're going to go through and show you guys what's coming out this week. Uh, I'll go first since I went first last uh, last time. <laughs> and what I picked up was the um, was the Shattered Backboard uh, 3.0. Uh, as I said before, the Lick Potato Chip 1. Uh, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people don't like the patent leather, and that's fine. But did you guys get the, uh, the top threes? Y'all like the patent leather on the top threes? 
top three. Y'all oh, like the the, fat ladder on the UNCs, the females that all the dudes went after. Oh, the blue chill. Just whatever. Give these a chance. Actually, I like I like these. But they're not as shiny as they look. I mean, they look, they look super shiny right here. I got a big can uh, uh, light right here. But uh, honestly, on foot, uh, they they look pretty good. So um, I know they, they, it, bro. they come, they come. I know, I know you're getting them. I know y'all getting them. And then the people that don't get them going to hate them. And that's cool with me. But that's all I got. I'm going to get them. Well then, I'll go first, or I'll go next rather. Since, yeah. You know, we got a home run hitter here. Yep the the is advantage so of running of running it back is you already know what someone <laughs> uh, when they trying to pull a fast one. So I'm gonna just go right now. I got a pickup that's outside the scope of my normal selection, Ooh. but you know that's what I do. I like to keep you on your toes. So, bam! All right, A6 Jelly Three, <laughs> Super Blue 2.0, Ronnie Five, White Walkers. Yes, they're looking super, <laughs> super fresh, super clean. Is that what that's a lot. Tongue to? <laughs> yes, sir. So does it? Yes, sir. I need, I needed to hook up on those. That did not work out for me. Shout out to Kicks Connect, dog. Get your membership up. <laughs> you know what I would? You know what I would like is to see uh, some Asics with the regular tongue too, though. Like I would like to see that because I oh, think yes, like, with mine. Yeah, because with mine, like I have a, I have like one or two pairs, and I don't know. Man, Might you say it like that? They don't look right on me, man. They... Show, show that on, take that on foot. We'll, we'll be the judge. We're still waiting for that Ugg shot too. But I, that's hey, story. I, I got you. I got you. I, I'll show you the. Okay. <laughs> I'll be waiting for that. I'm gonna start, um, start throwing everything on the ground. Just, just show the mugs first, though. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to go next. Today's pickup came in the mail, courtesy of the sneakers draw. You Can't got the complain. Got the, the, <laughs> I'm getting draws, draws. dog. I'm getting draws lately because this is the second Sakai I hit on for sneakers app. So appreciate that. And then picked up these as well. This guy. Big, been a minute. Deep pockets. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. And, and a DS too. And a DS. Can't wait. Atlanta, they will be pulled out. Pause. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta hold on a second. Hey, what the hell's going on right there? about to yeah. fart? <laughs> nah, nah. The, 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 the kids are in their bedroom. I got the baby monitor. I'm about to kill it. Hold uh, on. All right. Thought, responsible dad i thought he was about to go ahead and let one go but wasn't quite sure if you <laughs> <laughs> did you want to uh pull up the the releases yeah why not let's see this take two definitely appreciate you guys just sitting there just chilling like we was yeah <laughs> we wouldn't even know <laughs> that was, that's the problem when you come on at eight ish cast like oh here they go again <laughs> All right, bet. So uh, running it back, uh, ten fourteen today. Pendleton times Nike Air Force One low. Nike by U B K A Nike ID. Uh, these came out along with the Element Fifty Five and the Air Max Ninety. So what do y'all think? Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't like them Paddington Bear Eighties couch joints. You can keep well done. <laughs> You don't like them? I had one. I had one done a couple years back. Uh, Air Force One. It was damn. I don't hate them. Five five years ago. I just can't do Air Force Ones, man. I mean, it, it's got to be the only Air Force Ones. I mean, I like are, I, and they they're hype. They're hype ones. So I don't like the other one. I don't like. You don't them like them. I only like the, <laughs> the off white. The and only the 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 Volt one. Yeah, the Volt joints. There you go. Well then, all right. Well, we got the Nike Air Max 97 Utility Black on Black, aka Security Guard Joints. <laughs> Sir, your ID. Uh, your also comes at? in a in a tan. Looks like a gum bottom. Got a little tan upper with a hit of orange. A little splash of blue on the swoosh. Not bad. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Oh, yeah, that black uh, one. <laughs> Nike Zoom Kobe 4 Pro Cho for a buck 75. Heard mixed things about this. This is a wait and see for me. Hmm. Uh, 
That's a that's a definite no for me. <laughs> the definite nobody. What's, what, what's the issue? What's the what's the issue you heard? Poor quality. Uh, yeah, because the toe box has like this um snake skin pattern. Mm -hmm. It's like a suede material, whatever. So hmm. um some people said it was a little funny or whatever. Okay. But it's an okay colorway. <clears throat> There's been a couple, you know, NBA players, Lonzo Ball, I think was seen wearing them. Uh but you know, aside from that, Kobe Four Pro Chos have been very underwhelming. Even the undefeated pack, you know, didn't really have that same cachet as say the uh the ones did. So right now, like there's so many dope colorways that they could have dropped. The PE Wizard is actually gonna be dropping December first. So that's that's like the actual that's, that's like the only one off the top of my head, PE wise, that's coming out that's like really, really dope. Aside from that, it's a bunch of basic colorways. They came out with the Carpe Diem, the Draft Day, the Undefeated Pack, that black undefeated pair that I showed last week. Like, it was cool and all. I had to complete the set, but really, you know, what, it wasn't all that much. So, a um, little disappointed. 7 out of 10, I'd give the Kobe 4s right now as far as drops and colorways, which is a shame because it's one of my favorite Kobe silhouettes. Damn, I can't. Uh, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> That being said, at 10 16 Wednesday, Adidas Speed Factor AM for U Dub. So, Washington Huskies, you see the W there on the heel. Uh, Huskies on the upper by the toe box. A little gold three stripes for a buck 50. Yeah. Yeah. Big neg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 10 17, Nike Air Force One low. What the New York? <laughs> Anybody feeling these? Negative. Oh no, I'm good on that. Nah, they look <laughs> like something that like a Knicks fan that smokes Newports would wear. Well then, <laughs> what? I thought you're at least gonna say weed. You already got that Newports nah, on the toe, toe box, box right there. You know yeah, the toe the, box, yeah. The black and the blue, and you know. I, I peeped it. I peeped it. Oh, I peeped it. Ha 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 ha. Adidas AR trainer, home of the classics. They look like they could be an easy. Calabasas. They were. <laughs> then they would be uh, highly sought after. Adidas Stan Smith, home of the classics. You got the Adidas Supercourt, home of the classics. And another tan colorway of the Adidas Supercourt, home I of need, the classics. I need to get oh, a yeah. Homer's Homer's tan, men's in the black. I need to get a Homer Simpson uh, sound bite that says, boring. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, that means it's a, it's a light week. Your pockets will be. Well, uh, add so, add so some strange. more of that boring because we got the home of the classics. Damn. Uh, super court women's white and tan and then the superstar with the classics Trash. So, should all be within the oh, 120 to 150 price points it should be 50 dollars at shoe barn <laughs> then. Uh, hey more land of money for me keep, hey there. keep putting out trash 1018 we got the nike phone posit little posit coming through so we got infinite toddler grade school Get him out of here. No, not feeling it. All righty then. All right, Marvel times Adidas AM4 Marvel 80 Volume 1. It's a whole lot going on there. Wow. Marvel. La, 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 la. I was about to say Marvel. La, 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 la. Yeah. So we got Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volume 2 ain't bad. Okay, I can see the Volume 2 now. Nah, the, the superheroes? Yeah. I can mess with that. Yeah. No, I, I don't hate those. None of them. These a nice are, gym shoe, gym shoe. Not, I ain't gonna wear it around town. Gym nah, shoe. Nah, nah. These are these are uh, your stomach when you're lactose and you decide that you gonna throw caution to the wind and have a milkshake. Hmm. These are terrible. Well, then. <laughs> um, so we got size times an A6 gel citric base camp. I don't know if that price point's right, but if so, that's actually a pretty good value. And I don't hate that colorway. The little hit of green like that. It's pretty fire. That's not bad. Nope. Um, so those 1018 okay. size A6 gel venture seven mission. This colorway, I'm not as fond of. I was about to say that one's bad. <laughs> You'll find those at uh Marshall's. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, uh, <laughs> N times New Balance 878 Gray Ghoul. Uh, hell no. <laughs> Any takers? Those are the uh, uh, take them to the trash, <laughs> <laughs> the early 2000 Warriors. This guy. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, the basement times Nike Air Max 90 London. As soon as it's going to be somewhere in the 150 price point, Boy. 130 to 150. 
Um, it's clean. I like those. Yeah, I like them. They're I, pretty I clean. I don't hate them. They're pretty clean. Yeah. Right. Damn, Kim. Um, just added this Nike Dunk Low Night of Mischief. I don't know how true that is, but mm. it. Yeah. What's that on the, on the on the mat? Is that a spider or something? Oh, okay. Yeah. A little Halloween yeah. ass. I hope it comes filled with candy corns because those are just as terrible as that candy. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not that bad. No, they're not bad. Uh, they're not 10 19. <laughs> got some hardens coming out orange, blue, gray, black. Um, you only get one pair though, since you only have to jump off one foot to shoot a jump shot. Oh, man. <laughs> the hardens, man, are yeah. hard on the eyes. Yeah. yeah, we got an ambush times Converse Chuck Taylor oh. in a white colorway. Jeez. And a black colorway in the pro leather women's drop for the ladies. The ambush black pair ladies. looks like something that you see a kid walking down the street and you're like, hey man, watch out for that guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a trench coat. And uh, <laughs> we'll preview next week oh, this uh, Batman Times Converse Chuck 70 high 80th anniversary. These pairs aren't that bad. I don't hate I those. like them. I would get those. I wouldn't wear them, yeah. but I don't hate them, though. I'm not going to. Yeah, I got a pair. I got a pair of Superman, but for Jim, you know. I'm not gonna yeah, these three aren't that bad. They come on kids. They come on like little kids, like toddlers. I, I would totally get that for my little man. Damn. So would I. But, um, and tomorrow there's gonna be a restock of the SpongeBob collab. Uh, so that's gonna be on sneakers for men's, and then on kids for the website. Oh uh, shit! Rather, on the website for kids. It's uh, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Free the market. Check it out. I thought the 15th was. Why was I thinking it was? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I know, I'm thinking it was Wednesday, man. It, today, today was a blur. Too much going on today. I'm, I'm off. I'm off. Oh, man. Yeah, it's all good. I, I feel like there was something else I was supposed to do right now. But we're going to go ahead and get right into topics. Topics. Chat. We were supposed to hit us live so <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Man, I'm just thrown off, man. I just don't know what to do because... I feel like we we got ten minutes. We'll never get back. It's probably I think it's saved right. in my computer somewhere. But you know, I was gonna say it was a funny ten minutes. So I'll it was. It was so I'm not mad at it. it. Maybe it I'm, I'm not mad at it. I'll make it the uh, sample. <laughs> I'll just toss it out there. Uh, yeah, topics. Uh, this is we're gonna talk about the the Travis Scott six release or lack of release. <laughs> And then uh, he actually acknowledged and said that, you know, your your words were heard. But, yeah, he heard you. But, mm. so. <laughs> that shit exactly. don't mean nothing. Yeah. Nike's right? like, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure, your voice won't go unheard. You heard? Yeah. You want mm-hmm. your shit you you to be marginalized? Nah, I'm still trying to be cool. Keep yeah. releasing them low numbers. <laughs> yep. Exactly. But I thought that he was going to have some type of thing on his site where, if you bought a shirt, I don't know who I heard it from, but like you bought a shirt, then you're gonna have access to, um, yep. you know, which a, a fifty dollar t shirt shoot. You better get something. I mean, you yeah, yeah. I got a hoodie. Yeah, I would pay fifty hoodies. bucks just to be able to get them and not have to worry about anything else. Because now, oh yeah, now they're going for like my size is going for seven forty. Like yesterday it was going for like eight something. But you know, as oh, people start like that, yeah, as people start getting them, they start, uh, you know, they start dipping a little bit. So mm-hmm. keep your eyes on the uh, on the prices. Uh, if they dip low enough, then I may jump because you know, ever since those trophy rooms, you know, I, I kind of keep <clears throat> an keep an eye on things. That's mm-hmm. not the truth. <laughs> well, I, I, I like the shoe. It's just. I, I I felt a certain type of way. You know what I really didn't like is when I got I got tagged in people's got them posts. Like, I didn't get them. Don't, <laughs> tag, don't tag me unless you want me to come over and take them. <laughs> unless you want to send them to me. I'm curious though, like you said with the with the numbers, because you already got the the yellow pair coming out next year. What they said, what fifty thousand pairs? I mean, and I don't know what the numbers are. Is that and then, hmm. That's that. That's a real thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Supposedly okay. real. And then you got those. Uh, what is it? The React two seventies. The Travis Scott wow. React two seventies coming out. So that's going to be the number where he's. That's going to be the pair where he's like, oh, I heard your voice. It's going to be right. Thirty yeah. three thirty threes back out. <laughs> Lord right. of mercy. They're going to be. Yeah, awesome. it's funny. Everyone forgets about the thirty threes. That's the uh, the redheaded stepchild. Yeah, those <laughs> are like those are going for like two something right now. If you want to be, 
You want a piece of Cactus Jack? Go ahead and get you some 33s. Mm. Lord of mercy. And I I, 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 I keep seeing that the four, uh, the fours are falling like further and further in, in the, in the rank. Although I think I like those better than the, than the one lows. The fours are my favorites. Oh yeah, yeah. I take those over those. The fours are my favorites of, of all of them. I mean, I really, I like, I like, the, of course, I like she's the, a four. I like guy. the six. If it was different colors, I think like hmm. it's color? cool that it's it's cool that it's green, but it, it's not like I mean if it was red, oh, or you know what I'm saying, <laughs> or if it if it was like black with like red on the midsole and then a glow in the dark or something different, then I I think that I would like it more. But I think the green, like just like with the brown on the lows, it's like all right, you know you know what it is, but they're not like they don't jump, they don't jump out to me. Oh, well, I mean, six, but a black would jump out there. I mean, you black think we got like, black and like a bright, yeah, like a bright black color. Black That's why he's got the yellow laces in there. Yeah, so I can it, see that. So it pops a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the earth tone, you know what I'm saying? With the green, it's like. No, nah, I feel you. The, the yellow laces are a must. At least so, for me. I mean, I might even go, I would maybe even go infrared laces. <clears throat> so what was the. So as far as the release, I mean, what what were your thoughts on it? Because the funny thing is, I, it's funny when a draw comes up, people complain about, oh, it's a draw. But the right. thing is, people don't realize your chances are better with the right. draw than you trying to win. It's a draw regardless, because there's always that little bit of lag and delay. Oh, like when course. you put your information in, yep. it still does like a mini draw. It just doesn't give you like a right. full 10, 15 minutes to put, you know, to put your entry in. You're in um, line, you're in line. <laughs> regardless of how it's structured like there's still automated bot entries right so like, listen i saw a lot of people hit more so than you would on a normal drop so kudos right that means like more regular folks so to speak quote unquote um, right. are actually getting the, the the pairs so i think there's a benefit there um i'm not one of them yet i'm still trying to figure out you know what my algorithm's all jacked up <laughs> 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 um no, it's a solid shoe. If like I want it, we'll see. You know, TBD. I'll be in Atlanta. Who knows? Um, you know, it's a dope pair. I think overall, you know, we talked about like the Travis hype and and really where he stands. We compared him to Kanye. Like right now, everything he touches is fire, super fire. So, right. I mean, cereal bowls. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I mean, I got a I got a mm. box of that cereal that I'll never eat. Yeah, uh, listen, I got a couple of them. You know what I mean? Like, is what it is, but. Um, I feel like as far as the release is concerned, it's par for the course. You know what you get. You know what I'm right. saying? It's a draw. Everyone was right. home online or whatever they were doing. Uh, you know, they, they put in their entry at work or wherever, and that was that. If you won, you you had a great day. If not, you were salty. Right. So it just is okay. what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just like any other release. And I was talking to some, I was talking to Mike actually, the camp out, and he was saying that, you know, they were really limited as far as like some mid-store stuff. And I was like, you know, it's kind of par for the uh kind of par for the course these days. You just kinda of have to, you know, lick your wounds and get ready for the next one. So yeah. But like you said, I mean a lot of people who we oh my bad, Kevin. No, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, but I think but like you said, you know, it was it was definitely one of those releases that we saw a lot of people who we, you know affiliate with or talk to on the regular you know get a pair you know as versus at least for me is from what i'm remembering at least with the ones the high i don't i mean i saw some people get them but it wasn't as many as with this like this i'm looking like damn you got them damn you got them you know so i mean i think that's a good thing and and from what i heard and again this is why i don't really believe the numbers ever you know ever i thought there were more of the ones than there were the sixes but maybe i'm wrong I, you know i don't know but um, you know that was a good thing. I heard that because there was a lot of fakes. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah that's they true. Were, they were dropping um, early, but I, yeah. I I think that like Shalico says, no, 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 stop all that fire talk. It's all just hype. I mean, it's a dope shoe. I I, I like the pocket on the side. Um, hype doesn't hurt a shoe. I'm not you know I'm not allergic to you know some hype beastedness. I mean I think that it, that's what our <laughs> our our culture is kind of built on that because it's. You want a pair of shoes that not everybody had you know what i'm saying and i've i've won that i've won the draw before so you know if i lose this time all right 
hey, some people won, cool. You know, in the back of my head, and the first when it first happened, sure, I was a little, you know, like salty. I didn't say anything, but sure, you know, a little salty. But then you go on to the next one. What else? What else are we looking for? You know, like what's the next shoe that's coming up? You know, like the Travis, the yellow joints will come up. Maybe I hit that one, or maybe these ones will dip far enough where I can reach up and and grab a pair. Who knows? You know, like because I think that I'm changing how I'm buying my shoes because I used to buy every Saturday. I was like, Hey, I'm about to buy these. I'm about to buy these. Like I was going to get the, uh, the 34s. I was going to get the <laughs> Seattle's and I, I still like the 34s. And if they go on sale, I may still get them. But, um, you know, I, I was like, eh, no, I'm not going to get those. Let me just chill. So now I have money to get pairs that, Hey, if I do miss on a, uh, a draw, I can go ahead and get, and that's fine. I don't, I don't mind spending a little bit more for one pair of shoes that I want rather than having four pairs of shoes that I just take maybe one picture of, and then they end up in one of these cases forever. And you know, I don't do anything with them. You know what I'm saying? Like I got plenty of shoes that like, I mean, there's plenty of, like I collect fours, plenty of fours that I would get rid of these, uh, laser, <laughs> these laser fours. You can get the fuck, fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of shoes that, like, the tattoo for it. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got that? Yeah, I got both. I got the red and the, well, you know, I'm just going to buy the red joint. But I got the red <laughs> and the uh, the black and white ones. And Did you get the, 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 what is the singles day, the red joints? Or you yeah, rub it? One, yeah, yeah, I got those. Oh, you got those too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. I'm telling you, man. It's an, <laughs> it's, a, it's an addiction, and it, it's a thing, though. Like, I think that we all like it's, oh, and this Lord. is something. That, this is something that I was thinking. I was kind of off topic. Is that like you know we all kind of have like an addiction, and our addiction is shoes. Where it could be anything else. I'm glad that it's shoes, and other people's are you know they're getting into other things, and that's what they become addicted to. Where you know at least if I realize like hey I got way too many shoes, I could sell these shoes. Right. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. It could be a gambler. It could be porn. Yeah, it could be meth. I'll be sitting here like, hey, I got four four <laughs> sleeps until Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. I was going to yeah. make a comment, but I can't even do it. Oh, can't man. do it. Yeah, don't do it. No. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I'm good. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was glad to see a lot of people hit, um, you know, on these. So, hopefully, you know, most of the people who hit are going to keep them. I saw a couple of people double up on pairs you know so yep. you know it is what it is you know I said, it was, it, people flew across the country to pick them up like people flew to chicago and the whole nine yards so like you know to sit there and be like they're not dope this sound a third whatever the case may be like eh, just gotta gotta broaden your horizons a little bit like yeah it's hype yeah it's a collab or whatever the case may be but the shit's fire too yeah but like yeah. like even if it wasn't travis scott like i mean it's a dope shoe like you wouldn't you wouldn't buy those if you if you if you could i mean like i see right. shalico in there saying you know just trying to ju justify it but there's plenty of shoes that you know like i buy yeah. that I, I can't justify it. like after i get them you know what i'm saying <laughs> like honestly like these i could definitely justify i would i would wear these you know what i'm saying like i like the the uh patent leather um 3.0s and i will wear those and i've been wearing them i've actually worn these more than any other shoe this whole year in a row. You know what I'm saying? Like I've worn them almost every day. Um, outside of today, I put on I put on the uh, Tinkers. I mean, but ain't a lot of this stuff hype? Let's be realistic. I mean, bread yeah. ones, four That's ones. Cool. I mean, they ain't That's nothing crazy. special. It's a black right. shoe, red, I mean, but everybody going crazy with that. If hype, hype didn't play, it. That's what tells. So like, yeah. If, right. hype, I mean, if hype didn't play any any part in this then them one mids would be selling like some of these other ones that that don't sell out would be selling you know just because people oh i like ones here's a one it's the same color as these other ones that somebody touched one day and you know it's high it, it, it is what it is man i mean hello lace you are a mess um but yeah all right yeah, see, I see Shell said, ha ha, it's true. I'm finally over my addiction. If I can grab something, it's like, great. If not, then oh well. And I mean, that's kind of how 
I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm working towards that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the beginning stages where I'm like, all right, look. Or you buy, or you can, buy it. I can, just you know, I can skip. Like I, I wanted those Nick threes, but then I was like, man, I don't need those. What am, I mean, if oh, I, I, wear, I didn't, I, I was like, what am, I don't wear the true blue threes and you know, they got Nike air on the back. They're OGs, you know? So mm-hmm. if I was going to wear a black and or if I was going to wear a Nick's color shoe, I would wear the calf fours. I knew you were going to say that. So of course, Demetrius Reynolds, man. Appreciate you, bro. For the $10 dono. Say what's good. I'm going to send you my bank account right. information. <laughs> um, I had a thought and it just lost it. Escaped me. Yep. Get it back. Oh, well. It's all good. I can keep it moving. There it goes. What's good to you? All right. So uh, we done with Travis. We're going to go to. Yeah, I'm, I'm super done. All right. <laughs> so was it earlier uh, earlier last oh, week? Uh, the uh, the government had uh, seized over. 14,000 counterfeit Nike sneakers many of <laughs> many of them many of them Jordans man like I wonder where them shoes were going to end up like all right where, where are they gonna end but up wasn't with? it about this time last year um, or a similar scenario where a ton of shoes were discovered and, and confiscated and they had I don't know I, I don't remember what the value was but if you hit your Google search, I think you'll you'll see something that'll that'll pop up. So basically, I think it was out here, wasn't it? Or the dude was from out here. I thought it was on the East Coast. I thought it was Newark. <laughs> Might have been. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was Newark, and it was right around the time those candy cane uh, Jordan 11s were surfacing. Because then when they dropped, I called those the Port of Newarks. But um, <laughs> yeah, so they see 14,806 pairs of unauthorized Nike shoes in the los angeles long beach seaport which had an estimated retail price of 2.247 million us dollars so, if they were real <laughs> right if done yeah. but yeah i mean like you see like this, this shoe here and i mean there's plenty of people that have fake shoes before these even came in hmm. Uh oh, what was that? Oh, okay, we're good. I thought that. I hate these pop ups. But no, I mean, just think about how many they don't catch. Because, I mean, there's several people on YouTube that, you know, they get shoes and then they kind of put people in the position to procure these shoes. And it doesn't seem like it's a hassle for them to get these shoes. I don't understand how those make it. And then these ones get intercepted without somebody saying hey check this pack right here uh the money ain't get paid off or they didn't get enough so they're yeah. like oh by the way them ain't napkins damn yeah. sneakers <laughs> <laughs> check this crate there's people in it i think oh wow <laughs> Lisa, yeah. weapon three. there's nothing you can do about that right i mean i thought i so i thought nike was supposed to be doing a thing with the the QR, the QR code or the QR reader, that little funny symbol that, that you're supposed to be able to scan to check to validate if the shoes were authentic or fake. Because I mean, realistically, you know, they can go out here and you know these these counterfeit um, reseller or whatever you want to call them, they can go out here and replicate boxes and UPC codes mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But that little QR code, the little funny symbol, you ain't gonna tell me that you're at least to start. Eventually, you're gonna catch up and figure out some way. Oh, but I thought that was supposed to be the way. I mean, but I'm sure you can slowly embed something in that that you can't that the, the naked eye can't see. It could be like a couple pixels off in the black line that that's courtesy of Nike. Well, they're gonna and photocopy they it. Well, they're gonna photocopy oh. it, so it's it's gonna be the exact same. I think what Nike would have to do is do like a two part thing where you have the QR code that reads a certain number on certain shoes, and then has a number like somewhere in the shoe that you can kind of cross verify cross check. Yeah. Because yeah. other other than that, I mean, there's no, there's gonna be no way, uh, well, you know, to to keep uh, like a QR code. You can re- you can replicate a QR code. I yeah, I saw. I was watching um, was it on the Camp Out story? He had peeled back one of the Nike labels, and there was something embedded on that, which was like Nike's tracking system. So 
they're definitely trying to find ways to either a crack down on fakes or or b crack down on uh mom and pop mm-hmm. shop retailers to figure out like why things are hitting you know the market prior to the state so there's some sort of like checks and balances going on see yeah like mike just mentioned there's already one behind the size label right so, yeah i know about that one but like it, you can you can put that on anything um or do they really care about i know they say that they care but like there's people that sell shoes i think they and, I think they care. I mean, because let's be realistic, you know, and I don't know if it was Skinner or if it was something I read who was saying that they, you know, for this last Travis drop, they cracked down heavy on the bots that were getting through, which is why a lot of people were hitting on the pairs, you know. So I think to some extent they do care. Um, I don't think they care to, of course, to our level, maybe. But I think, you know, to some extent they care. I mean, you got to take care of your customer, you know, at least uh, that you care. Right. And I was watching, uh, I was watching DMD's video, and I think was it Social Status in Houston got broken into, and they stole all the Travises. They stole all the Travises. Mm. Like that was kind of sus, man. <laughs> Where do you, I think they just did they just steal? I wonder if they just stole just the Travises. Wait, so you heard what? What happened? Yeah, uh, DMD said he was going to put in for a raffle for the for the Travises. And he went in there, and they—I mean—they poked a hole in the store, and mm-hmm. uh, I guess they stole the, the Travis Scott sixes. So, hmm, yeah. mm, I mean, shit happens, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean but I—I uh, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's gonna the, the, there's too much money that's involved with shoes and reselling for it to be stopped, right? I mean, maybe you could right. try and cut it down some but it's just they're the companies are going to get smart and then the you know the the thieves are going to get smarter and they're going to figure out some way and it's just right. it's going to be a cycle it's going to go back and forth I mean, it's never going to stop you just, it's going to be but it's it's on the, us as the consumer to do our homework right like you, you can't why are the fakes going to california <laughs> hmm? why are the fakes going to california that's Shit. the first spot um, they hit when they came over on that boat. <laughs> yeah, I was say, yeah, I mean, listen, the the one that was seized in Newark was on their way to California. Like, mm. like I get from a geographical standpoint, you know, that specific ocean, it's easy to hit that first. But I'm just kind of curious because I'm just doing some research here. I posted the link in the chat about the seas um, when they seized pairs in Port of Newark last December, and that was estimated about 1.7 million worth of counterfeit Nike items. Mm. Uh, the report was that it was on there it was coming from newark on their way to california I hello late where, where are you buy your shoes at because you out in cali i'm at the uh, collection i was watching something on uh youtube where they say that a lot of the transport they fly like mm. back the back way like and hit like new york first because i guess mm-hmm. there's more there's more geography so say if something happened with the plane because that stretch in the pacific ocean is so big that you know they, they couldn't land anywhere you know so like if you got any type of engine problems or anything like that it's a wrap for you at least if you go the other way i don't know well, that's what they were saying i don't know how true that was it was like one of those days where i got into one of those rabbit holes watching some nerd stuff and um, nerd stuff huh yeah man nerd stuff. it was on youtube it wasn't on that uh that uh Pornhub. Yeah, you know what you watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't pull up the releases. I don't ever want to know how to see my my cookies, boss. Yeah, yeah Pog Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously though, like you know, you got everybody. Just do your do your due diligence. You know, um, if you know somebody who you're cool with, who's works closely with shoes. I mean, if the deal sounds too good, it's probably not real. Just do your homework, you know, and, and at the end of the day, it's just shoes. If you miss out on a pair, it ain't worth getting burned for a grand or 500 just to have some shoes, you know? There'll be another release out there that's probably gonna be bigger. Just be patient, you know? Try to get better with that. Just kind of like, you know, and, uh, and, yeah. and move on to the next. It's hard, Mike, but we try. Mike uh, Campau said, you know, the dudes that are making the fakes are the same dudes that are making legit pairs and like that's something yeah that's the kind of thing that like i'd like to see like somebody like dive deep into that and just kind of explain you know how that happens or you know what i'm saying or if if they They have they have videos man like they somebody was showing me where they they took the same materials 
the same mold, everything. And it's just not built at a, let's say Nike or Adidas facility. They're just building it at another location. It's the same shoe, but if it's not at that location, it's not, you know? So, I mean, yeah. the good, some of right. just as good as the- But I feel like they always get like something wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you trying to make a cookie oh. off of a, you know, a, a recipe that's on the, on the bag, but you know what I'm saying? They do different things. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. I mean, you're not like an example of people. <laughs> yeah. So made in the same location, that's all well and good. By the same people, also all well and good. But that extra layer that makes them an authentic Nike, you know, product, that extra piece of quote unquote quality control, which ain't all that great to begin with. Uh, you know, it's not hit. And I saw a video today. There was somebody making, you know, counterfeit converses. And it's just, just chilling. Same Why? exact workers. I mean, I mean, people like Converse. I mean, yeah, they're, yeah they're, like there's nothing no, wrong, yeah. but they're pretty affordable though. Unless you're getting something that's like. So would you wear a fit? Let's say you take and and I'm a and I'm a. This is the last thing I'm gonna say. Let's say somebody does sell a fake that looks just as good as the real material. Everything. It might be very small things you couldn't even catch, but they sold it to you for retail. I mean, is it is it a? I'm not saying that you would willingly want to buy the fake, right. but I mean. How, how do you react if the shit looks only that, but same and you're you think, about, the same you think about like the different outlets that people have now like oh let me just send this to StockX and the shit's getting through it's like oh all right well great you know what i'm saying like you can go buy the real making, one. it's all about your margins right it's all about your margins if you can make you know money on, on the item however much it is then it's going to be attractive to people who are into that kind of stuff yeah you just yeah you just got to be careful you know right. that's like uh when Mike did a, I'm not gonna put the person's name out there, but Mike, when we were in Dallas, did a legit check on a pair of off-white Prestos. Got you him. know, the person, the person picked them up for 350. Come on, son. I mean, really? Like, do you really need to, if it sounds too good, people, walk away. Dang, I don't know yeah. about that one. Um, Unless it's like, you know, you're cool. Oh, you're needing me the money. <laughs> walk away, but I'm done. I'm done. All right, so, All right what's uh, next, what we got? I mean, I, uh, hold on, let's see here, which one, I'm not sure if this is, playing topic roulette, yeah, I, I was gonna, I was trying to skip, I left one in there from last week, so I was trying to pick the right one, um, uh, Lonzo, Lonzo can think all day that he's signing with, and, uh, what, whatever, Lonzo ain't going nowhere, LeVar Ball said, <laughs> mm. like, I mean, all that, that man, nothing for his kids, but making them look like fools like him. So he's doing better than that. The, um, the soundbite and the quote had Zoe, but if you read the story, it said Lonzo Ball and LaMelo Ball were not signed with Nike. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so he's already trying to put that blanket over, over Melo, which obviously right now is a cash cow. Yeah, uh, right. He's balling. Right, so he says, claim sons Lonzo and Mello will not leave Big Baller brand. So I think that's, it's dumb. I mean, if anything, you try to partner with these brands and you try to like send an olive branch through Mello. And even if you're you're behind the scenes, like you don't have to be, you know, front and center as long as your checks are coming in on a monthly basis, shit matter. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're representing these kids, you should be doing what's right for everybody long term. And, and clearly this, this triple B thing, it, it ain't happening. It, you saw what it did for Zoe. It didn't help him, it hindered him. So right if we've got a chance to still come out of it unscathed you gotta let that boy live man let him shine let him do his own thing yeah i mean think about it had he let's say realistically he would have which he probably would have right he was what number number two pick one, he probably would have was he, he was one two? wasn't he Zoe was number one no he's number two. Two. Oh, okay okay Wait, who, went, who went one tatum or uh, aiden? Tatum. that was the year before that wasn't it aiden uh maybe Phoenix? it was i don't know Oh, he 2000. Went to LA. Oh, it, it, no, it was Philly. It was Markel Fultz. Oh. <laughs> yeah. went number three. Let's not talk about that one. Man. Um, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> he could have had, you know, because look at look look at Lonzo, right? And he, it's this will be what his third year, and people are saying, you know, he's a bust, right? Had he not been with BBB, he might have signed a you know a nice sizable contract before he really got to showcase his worth, I guess, in the league. And now look at him, you know, people are looking at him, tagging him as a bust. And, you know, I'm sure realistically, if he does sign on with a Nike or Puma or whoever, you know, the dollars just wouldn't be the same right now, given 
his productivity as they would have before, you know, uh, when he first got out of college. So, I mean, I hope that, um, and, and, the, and the thing is the dad's too stupid to see that, right? Just, he, he just wants to get a piece of the sons, like just be behind the scenes, be a manager, something, just let this die, you know, and let them, let them do them. You know, you can still be a part of their lives and help and facilitate and all that, but just shut up and take a back seat because you're hurting them. Right. Right. You know, you cause a rift, if anything. And it's not even that he's too stupid. It's, he's too prideful. Like he, he really is. He really is. I mean, he just he's right. trying to live through them, right? He didn't get the 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 NBA career that he dreamt of, and so now he's trying to live it through the sons. But it's just like just just step back. You know, step back. You can still get a piece of the pie. You can still have a good relationship with your sons. You know, you can still make sure they do well, but just just take a back seat. You know, I think he's going to end up sabotaging his relationship with his sons by oh, right. by, yeah. by doing this. Because, I mean, at, at you know, when they're kids, you're able to tell them whatever they're going to do. I go upstairs and tell my son what to do. And, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. But if I wait a couple more years, he's going to be like, man, I got my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He ain't gonna tell me to do nothing, and he ain't gonna talk to him at that point. You know, he's gonna start uh, avoiding them. I mean, if they want to wear, if they want to wear Nike, let them wear Nike. They're already branded up Nike anyway. I mean, the 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 brand for the NBA is Nike. So you know, if he wants to wear Nike that and it helps him play better, then let him do that. Um, you know, it, it's cool that he wanted to create something with their name on it. But it didn't work. It's not working. So let them make some money. Maybe they can invest some real dollars into a, a better product, and then you know they can they can do that. Let them develop their their legacy. You know, right now he's at the foundation, fucking up the cement. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. But I think gonna, be. I think they're all going to end up with some Nikes or uh, maybe Puma or something. They'll end up somewhere else, I believe. Yeah, he. They'll, yeah, so yeah. I think, like I said, the relationship will eventually get fractured, and they'll, you know, they'll do their own thing. Did y'all see that uh, half court oop? You you mean the one they threw where they threw, threw it to Zion? Me? Oh, mm-hmm. that's on my mind. Oh, my bad. Yeah, uh, Lonzo threw it to Zion. I was like. I just feel yeah, like I feel like this is a fun. better situation for him, honestly, because I feel for like who? he can play. Oh, lo- I feel like he can play looser. Yeah, right. It's a much smaller market, you know. It's right. more like a, Less pressure, so to speak. You know, just homegrown and stuff like that. And you got a young team where the expectations aren't as high. You come out, you're the number one pick. And, he, and this was a quote too. He's like, you know, I'm the number one two pick. Uh, I suppose you know the number two pick is supposed to be able to change a franchise, and uh, I don't feel like I, you know, obviously I upheld that. So um, another. Not, these picks have been lately. It's Zion now, so the pressure is technically on Zion, which is fine because right. I think yeah. he can, you know, just he can handle uh, it. I think exactly, exactly. And then these guys just have to be complementary players, and at that point, your role is completely different. Yep. Uh, his father is going to be more muted. It's not going to be, you know, still in the press. Should ignite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he can play ball. You know. <laughs> but but I think. He's like Suge Knight and Puff Daddy in the same thing because he's all in the videos too. Like a bully, yeah. <laughs> a bully in the niche. But there hasn't been, besides, you know, when was the last time, I can't offhand a number one or two pick that's really stood out and made a difference. I'm, I'm thinking Zion's going to do that, but the last few years, I can't think of a one or two that's really... I don't really right, you got, Aiden, you got Fultz, you well, got uh, Davis. Was he? Davis. He was number one, wasn't he? He was number one, but that was how long ago? Yeah, maybe it was a few years ago. Right, I'm th- talking like I'm thinking like the last three, maybe even four years. What did Atacampo? Where did he go? Who the who? Oh, uh, Giannis. Where did he go? What? Oh, he was. Uh, what? What was he picked? Was yeah? What was he picked? Chat. He was a lot. Lottery, right? But I don't think he was in a one, two, three. Hold on. So that was what, 2013? I know Jason he, in here. He probably he know. He's pick 15th. Round Dang. one, pick 15, 2013. Yeah. Man, they got yeah. a deal. Steal. I mean, realistically, these one twos ain't Listen, really doing much these days. So. When you have that that kind of player, that they usually do go under the radar. Um, right. Leonard yeah. was the same thing. He was a round one, 15th pick. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. in 2011 draft. So, originally by the Pacers. Mm. They kicked him, so. <laughs> right. So, yeah, he should have like, been. Uh, that's why the whole, like, he and PG thing was, like, so, you know, so crazy because kind of came full circle. Danny Deb said, uh, same people making fake J's is making big baller brands. <laughs> uh, people making big baller brand making sketchers. <laughs> and that's facts. <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh, she was not. Yeah. All right. So let's go o'clock. ahead and get let's get you wanna uh Mo, I'll give you the uh the thing you can read the, the question. Oh, no, you can go ahead because I, I I don't know what it is off top of, off top of my head. All right, this is the Footage Society trivia <laughs> question. The first person that answers it gets uh, is it uh, soul o- the oxidation for your yeah, soul. The oxidation for the soul. The question's up. So if you answer it before I read it, then you get the you get the the prize. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was the first Jordan pack released? Ooh. What was the first Jordan pack release? Was the name and what were the shoes that were in it? We need that uh that Jeopardy music. Mm-hmm. I got something. I got a I got a mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Anthony Bennett. I forgot about that dude. Yeah, he was Chris Nash. Oh, like, what he the just got, thing with that one? He just got oh. let go by somebody. Yeah. The ca- uh, Rockets, they waved him. See ya. Yeah. He, I was like, mm. beyond a terrible player. Uh, who was who was two and three in that draft? Mm-hmm. They pulled the uh, Sam Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they had picked somebody that was worth anything, then they may not. He got picked. Oladipo. Yeah. Um, Porter, Cody Zeller, Alex Len. They Rose. may not have gotten. Um, what's this called though? Uh, the one dude that they use as a trading Check. piece to get Kevin Love, Wiggins. Oh, um, Wiggins. Oh, okay, okay. If they had picked somebody worth something, so what they got? Yeah, oh, with, uh, Ky- and Kyrie too. Kyrie got picked up before that. Who? Uh, wait. Before Russell. before Wiggins. What would he say? DMP, DMP six. Kyrie was only for like six and eleven. What's the name of it? Ah, oh, you getting technical. I would have to give it to. Wait. Oh. That's 2005. Frankie. Frankie. All right. So we have kind of a. We have a problem here. It's well, no, 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 no. No, he said DMP 6 and 11. Process did. Yeah. Well, Frankie said, yeah, said DMP. Shoes, yeah. But, yeah, we yeah, said but the shoes. So process. Probably there's multiple DMPs. Yeah. So the 6 and the 11. Yeah, that was. uh Yeah. The black 6 in the uh Concord, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So uh process. Holler at Mo. Mo will holler at Footage Society. We'll get you your soul sauce. Uh process. Let me let me let me let me let me throw this out there. Please, sir, DM me after the show or sometime this week because the dude who won last week, I ain't heard a word. So he's asked out like chaps right now. Oh so, wait, who won last week? I think the dude's name was Malik. Malik, he right there. Malik, where you at, bro? Oh, you are there. Malik, man, you ain't DM me. Unless he got with uh There are multiple it is uh, multiple, but yeah, that's the he, first. But yeah, he first. yeah, the first one he did he did say the yeah. the two shoes though. Yeah, he said the yeah, process you good. So process, Malik, please DM me and I'll put you guys in touch with um Footage Society. You guys be straight. Here, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, Shalako said another reason why certain players should stay in college and develop is because they come to the NBA and get in the lottery, and uh, and there'll be a bus, and then y'all clown them. I mean, I think that you know that's a calculated yeah. risk. You know, like yeah. if you if, not, if, if, you, about me. if you have enough talent to to get picked up, then right. you're not worried that's about not, yeah. if you're a bus. You know, you're gonna make that first check, and then I mean, you're not gonna get that much. Yep. If you can't get that much better in the NBA, you're not gonna get that much better in college. I don't think. Right. I mean, you might get your nice little contract to start, and then you, right. you don't. or you might not get drafted at all. When people that's see right. that you do this, <laughs> mess around and hurt your stock. The fact of the matter is, you want to get to the league. You want to hone your skills, be a professional, and, and be in an environment where you can learn from the best. The right. fact of the matter is, like, you want to be able to eat, sleep, breathe, train basketball. 
24 7. you can't do that in college because you still have responsibilities and when they try to do that then they get backlash for not going to class so you know that's the whole one and done mentality the one and done thing isn't to strengthen a kid and make him more attractive or smarter or get him better prepared for the league it's for the colleges to make money so let's you know stop all that they should just stay in school stuff right right then and there you know clearly basketball has gone to a next level from a training perspective from a technology perspective and a lot more of these kids could probably skip college and go straight to the league if there wasn't that rule and from the uh, famous words of uh ncaa uh champion cardell uh cardell jones i came here to play football i didn't come here to play school <laughs> he actually said that. I was like, bro, chill out with that. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and transition into the uh, hashtag hero. We're going a little bit longer because our uh, first 10 minutes were uh, unaired. A bus. <laughs> a bus, aka Brian Leaf. Yeah, you know, you know how that goes. Oh, man, I got this show on. You do the, uh, who tagged the, um, who tagged you? Yeah, I'm gonna, I, yeah, I'll do that uh, on the way out. But okay. um, uh, announcement: We are going to put a hold on the battle. Uh, you know, we were trying to get some things together, and uh, they kind of uh, fell a little short. So uh, we're, gonna nice. push, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna push that back, and uh, eventually we will have the battles back. Uh, I'm not sure on how I want it set up. And then also, I, I want to make it so it's fair uh, as far as the voting goes. Um, so I got to put together some way that makes it kind of um, so it's not as much of a popularity contest as it is, you know, legit. Hey, this shoe against that shoe. Which shoe do you think should win for this particular topic? So maybe we'll do it where we have the popular vote and then we'll have maybe a couple judges on there that justify why they picked this. And if it, if it don't stand up then you know we'll we'll veto i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out but uh just i want to mention our our sponsors uh unbox app it's coming y'all it's coming hmm. <laughs> yay it's uh, coming eight nine manufacturing <laughs> eight nine manufacturing make sure you go check out the link in the description um get yourself some fine apparel uh the container store i think uh what, what was it Racky didn't did they have like a good little uh discount yes oh yeah so like yesterday the day prior i don't remember i posted yeah. it in my store yeah they had they had a special 12 percent for 24 hours so hopefully yeah, somebody so took advantage of it like it was on there yeah long gone there was a lot uh, on there american yeah, eagle i think was on there and american eagle had a sale that day too uh and then also footage yeah. society uh Mo, you want to tell them about Footage Society and what Footage Society does and all the things, wonderful things that they do? Yes. So if you are in the DMV area or if you happen to have internet access, please check out Footage Society. They do a bevy of services such as layaway, shoe cleans. Um, yeah, that's about it. But no, what, they're, <laughs> they're, they're a consignment no. shop. <laughs> I, I was just playing around. But yeah, they're, they're a consignment shop. Um, just like, you know, your typical consignment shop but uh, again like i said before they do some things that are a little different the things to, to me that stand out the most are the fact that they do offer layaway service um i think she had said that they do some personal shopping for you too i think i don't recall um and then they do have a um in-store uh shoe cleaning service and i think when i talked to nicole they're working on trying to do some customization stuff as well um hope i didn't let the cat out of the bag but um yeah you know overall good service great deals um so make sure you guys check them out um you will not be disappointed yeah they do a little bit of everything and if they don't just ask they'll probably do it for you anyways yeah, yeah. They'll, <laughs> they'll find you shoes too so you know just uh you know make sure you guys hit them up did we i didn't miss anybody did i as far as the sponsors i don't believe nope. so all right so uh I'll, I'll, I'll do it last so you guys go ahead Okay, I'll close it out. Uh, shout out to the chat. Appreciate you guys hanging in there for that 10 minutes of uh, quiet time while we were over here having a conversation amongst ourselves. Uh, you know, you guys tune in. It's always appreciated. If you have not done so, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. Um, you know, 
Also, if there's some got some things that you guys would like us to maybe do differently, you know, feel free to hit us up and let us know. We're doing this for you guys at the end of the day. Um, shout out to Kevin Mark, uh, not Marcus, Kev and Molly, you know, Thank for you, uh, you know, the, the weekly weekly conversations. I was going to say, unfortunately, we don't know what happened to Marcus. You know, he had quote unquote technical difficulty, but I'm sure probably within the next hour or two, he's going to tell us how Joker was. Um, mm. and, uh, <laughs> I hey, I, Joker was is decent, but I didn't get what everybody else. You know what? Uh, and, and and Skinner said this too. It's not. It's not what you. I'm gonna make this quick. It's not what you're. T- the act of by Phoenix. I mean, to me, he was. It was on point, right? If Heath Ledger got the Oscar, he better get it because the, the 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 evolution from where he was to Joker loved it but as far as like a movie would i see it again action all that mm, nah nah i think i'd see it again uh when it wasn't um the quality yeah. that i seen it in <laughs> this guy. This guy. lord jesus uh, okay ma it's all you bro um well suspects appreciate you hanging out with us on another monday kev thanks for doing the thing producing it all and whatnot um mo Appreciate you as always, Marcus. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can you can get up. Uh, I know it's tough. <laughs> so uh, this weekend, Atlanta Sneaker Con, I'll be there. Mo will be there. Um, so it should be a good time. If you're planning on being there, definitely hit me up, and we'll try to figure out you know essentially you know what the plan is. It seems like not as many people are going out there, which is you know, a little bit disappointing, but. If you're there, we'll definitely make the best of it. There's a few things I've heard of as far as like after parties and stuff like that. So they're definitely trying to have a good time with everyone out there. Uh, November 3rd, we're going to be doing a little meetup in Jersey. Uh, Flyers should be coming out within the week, hopefully, knock on wood. A little fantasy sneaker meetup type deal just to have fun, drink, eat, uh, you know, kick it, all good vibes. Uh, So like I said, myself and ghost we're going to be putting that together so keep an eye out for that if you're in the area definitely you know want you to come through um that being said yeah, i'll keep it short keep it brief and uh go ahead Kev, take him uh, to church i want to uh thank you guys for uh you know doing the show with me um thank uh marcus for you know what i'm saying his contribution even though he couldn't make it you know he learned a lesson in uh computer etiquette uh <laughs> So, uh, and then I want to thank all of our sponsors. I want to thank each and every last one of you guys uh, for coming through in the chat. Um, you know, you know, likes and dislikes, regardless of whatever you guys did. I definitely appreciate your input and the way that, you know, we kind of all come together and we can, you know, bond and, you know, kind of forget about, you know, what Monday is. Is Monday is the worst day of the week for me outside of doing this show just because, like, I have to look so far away down you know down the week to you know get to you know kind of a a rest period so this is definitely you know one of my favorite parts uh of the week um so appreciate you guys you know uh hanging in there with us but let me go ahead and get to my thing here if my phone wants to work all right uh first of all these are the people that shout us out in their stories if you want to shout out you know, just shout us out, tag me in it, and uh, we'll get you done, taken care of. Pause. First of all, we got uh, Dre Day Kicks. We got uh, Shaw Fitness, Shal- Shalico. Also, happy birthday to D-Lo and PR Sneaks Ray. Uh, hope you all had a, had a wonderful birthday. <laughs> uh, shout out to Unbox App. <laughs> Dominican hey. Coquie. Hella Laced. Need more Nick. KB Fresh Kicks, and that's all. So, uh, hey, we're out of here. Appreciate the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Give us something. And uh, if you do give the thumbs down, you know, even if you hit us up in the DM, something that, you know, you think that we could do a little bit different, uh, you know, let us know. We definitely would like to improve. So with that being said, we out like cheeks and chaps. Peace. Peace. Use the hashtag.
Okay. <laughs>